Hi, how you doing? This is Stephen from Maskwood Mac Tech. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to image your Mac using Deploy Studio. Now, basically, if you don't know what an image is, you're basically installing applications, creating accounts, and adding different preferences to these accounts for Mac Labs. Now, a lot of these accounts will have different settings. People will request different settings. So you, you kind of want to just do it once or try to do it once and then compress your image down and then deploy it out to your Mac Lab. So basically, all you need to do is after you uh, have your, uh, your Mac prepared, uh, you want to come down here to the dock and click Deploy Studio Runtime. Now basically what I do, since I uh, have a mobile server, I have an external drive with Deploy Studio on there and server installed, I have to go around different labs and uh, use, I use different IP addresses basically. So what I do, and since I'm doing this at home, and this will apply at, in a, if you work for an educational institution, this will apply there too. Just go to uh, Deploy uh, Studio Server here, click this, and highlight. If everything is in the green here and everything's working right, just uh, highlight, copy your IP address, and then you want to click in here, or I'm, highlight the address here, and then paste, Command V for paste. Then what you want to do is put your username and password in there. Ask on Mac Tech. Then you want to hit you want to log in now by default deploy studio puts this here create a master from a volume install package restore a master from a volume uh, triple OS uh, restoration I've never used install package or triple OS res uh, rest restoration um, basically uh, you want to select create a master from a volume and today we're in luck. I really, I actually really need to uh, image my Mac. So there it is. I'm going to select Mac HD. This is my internal hard drive in my iMac. So I'm going to select create, select create a master from a volume. So I'm going to hit the play button. And we should get another window. Okay. Now here you want to select your volume. So we don't want to select boot camp. We want to select Mac HD. And then we want to rename it. So it's going to go through the temp folder to my uh, repository. After the image is scanned and done, it's going to push the image to the HFS folder. So let's name the image here. And I'm just going to name it Ask, let's see, uh, iMac dash ask one, Mac tech dash, I think it's seven dash, what's the date today? 28th. 28-13. I leave everything everything else default. I don't touch anything else and I'm just going to hit play. Now it's going to do its thing and it's going to uh, make an image of my hard drive, my internal hard drive of my Mac. So I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to put the, I'm going to pause this and I'll be back and I'll show you that it pushes it to the HFS folder in Deploy Studio. Okay? All right, I'm back. The image is done. Let me show you where the image has been pushed. Let's go into my data folder here. Don't worry about this folder. That's for me. Images, master, HFS. Let's pull this out here. And there we go. We have the recovery file and we have the HFS. This is the D, uh, image file, the DMG right here, 18 gigabytes. And it's done. It's been done. All right, so that's how it's done. So if you have any questions, uh, rate and comment. Please uh, like my video. Please share the video if it's helpful for you. And I'll talk to you soon.